Hey guys, Dave from Nerdarchy here, four nerds, by nerds, hanging out with the full crew. I'm Nate. I'm Ryan. I'm Ted. And today we got a GM911 for you from Sean. Uh, he sent us a, an email, and that's the best way to get your GM911s uh, posted to Nerdarchy. Uh, or there could be one better way from Nerdarchy, the forum, where well, you could start a thread for gm 911 We could very well do Ooh. that. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. But, you know, if they send it to the email, we'll definitely get it and see it. Um, so Sean has a problem. He, he's got a game. It's going great. Uh, most of his players are new to the hobby. Uh, he hasn't run an NP, uh, RPG in years. Um, but he's got one player that's kind of freaking him out, man. Mm. <laughs> he's got Same a player that wants to murder children, uh, do things like sexual assault, uh, and just uh, n very nasty in the game. That's... Well, n number one, anytime you have a player who's making anyone at the table, especially the GM, uncomfortable, that's a sideline conversation. And, and you, you know, in my opinion, you need to be like, look, I'm not comfortable with that. You know, if if you do, if you've done this in other games and your other game masters are fine with it, that that's cool. I'm not. Just, let's just put the kibosh I'm going to circumnavigate that. that whole conversation. Just report him to your authority, local authorities, <laughs> and don't remove him from, from the game for you. Right. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know why the police showed up and knew your name and everything. <laughs> Tased you and maced you. Yeah. So, I mean, really, it's, I mean, I don't know the, the ages of the individuals involved or whatever, but it could just be like a maturity issue. It's the oh. same thing where like somebody plays the RPG and just starts, you know, wantonly slaughtering... Um, townsfolk like an MMO or whatever uh -huh. where they just do everything they act out every like sort of wish wish fulfillment but also to like no, just, it, like, some you, people you can't treat, do it in real life. Some so, people well. treat RPGs like, like you know, there's absolutely no repercussions, and they do whatever they want to do. Like it's a video game. Well, I mean, so, you know, speaking of video yeah. games, like games like Grand Theft Auto, where they gave the ability to just say, okay, well, everything is is possible, you know, has kind of bred the, this this ability. And you know, there's some people who are like, well, let me just see what I can get away with. Get, get away with. You know, they might not be a sociopath. They might just be a little off. You know, what whatever. Happens you you know i just take it down to that to that point as a gm if, some, if a player's doing something at your table that you're not comfortable with just talk to them and say look i don't like that in my game you're either going to stop or you're not going to be in the game well you know the, the thing too is like he mentions like he's okay with evil characters in the game but you know when you get to, to a certain point that's not even evil anymore it's like even like even bad people don't generally just go around doing that stuff unless right. you know well, that's there's like some kind serial, of sociopath that's like yeah. Yeah, sociopath serial killer level yes. stuff yes yeah. uh, instead of a, a person who is evil because they would rather get this thing accomplished well they're like a parent that care about yeah. something like so yeah. like uh, looking for group like richard the necromancer like he's like a parody of evil because he's like so over the top where like he might fireball an orphanage or something like that but like the whole thing is a joke and if you don't right. want your game to be a joke then like you kind of point it out to this person it's just like this this is all parody another another way to handle this is make it really as undescriptive and boring as possible <laughs> yeah all right that happened you kill the kid Congratulations. Tomorrow there's news that someone's murdered a child again. Well, yeah. I and mean, they're hunting for them. Eventually, he's going to be spotted. He's going to be killed. Yeah, there's going to be in-game consequences. It's just going to happen. But again, like, you can, if you just don't want that in your game, you can have a conversation with them. And to, I guess, find out, like, if other players are uncomfortable, you know, by this as, as well. And, and if it's causing discomfort for you, if it's causing discomfort from your other players, that's like Ted said, you might have to have an out of game conversation. Really, yeah. And, and, yeah, an out of game conversation, which can include, hey, you know, we didn't, you know, there's this thing called a social contract. I didn't bring it in, but we kind of like. If you get maybe, to that level, maybe everybody else assumed they, they weren't going to be criminals and murderers and rapists. Yeah. And they're like, that's the, they didn't think they were going to be playing that game. Yeah, yeah, and and as you guys said, you know, the, the, there's other possibilities for for dealing with this, and one of which is, you know, there's always that. Anytime you start doing evil, there are plenty of paladins in the world, you know, look looking to smite evil, and nobody wants this stuff happening in their town. So word is eventually going to spread that this type of thing is happening, and a paladin. Fuck that Batman shows up. <laughs> <laughs> no, because Batman doesn't kill. You know, the, the paladin is going to smite that person until yeah. oblivion. Yeah, but Batman will break everybody. 
bone in your body, you'll still be alive. Beat you to an inch, within an inch of your life. Yeah. And he's very good at measuring that inch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He gets within fractions of inches. Yeah. So, I don't know, guys, have you encountered this this in your games in, uh, in the past? What do you do about it? Uh, why don't you give Sean some suggestions with that while you're at it, like, share, and subscribe. You can check us out over on nerdarchy.com. While you're there, you can check out the store. You can also look at funny memes over on Facebook. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.